my arms and legs, that was it. But um, it, it was really fun growing up with him. All right, how about you, Linda? What was it like being with Bruce? What kind of a man was he? Well, I'll tell you what. If you can picture in your head what he was like in the movies, that's pretty much how he was in real life, too. He was a super dynamic, and you can see he had a comic personality in some of his film roles. He was like that at home, too, and we were always having fun. He was a, a super dad. He loved having his kids and playing with them. It was really a great time in our lives. Hey, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for turning out to honor Bruce. And we're just thrilled to be here. Thank you to the Giants, and go Giants, right? Very nice, yes, indeed. And Shannon, you know, there's, there's five major movies that Bruce uh, starred in in the 70s. Is there any one particular movie that you would uh, maybe best associate with your father, or what was the best movie in your eyes that, you know, watching it? You probably watched it over and over again, right? Yes, I've seen all the movies a million times. Um, you know, for me, uh, I know it's a little different for my mom. I know what her favorite movie is, um, and you can maybe ask her that. But um, for me, I really love Under the Dragon. I, I think it's because um, it's his own voice speaking in English. It, I just, it was the last movie that he was making, and I was, you know, getting older at that point. And so I just have a much closer connection to that film in particular. But um, all of his movies are fabulous for a variety of reasons. So. All right, Linda, your, your, your turn next. What is your favorite Bruce Lee movie? Uh, my favorite movie is The Way of the Dragon, which was yeah. also called Return of the Dragon over here. And the reason for that is because it's the first movie he made with his own production company. He wrote the movie, he directed the movie, he starred in the movie, he produced the movie. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you can recall a lot of scenes where he's being really cute and funny in the movie. That was like the real Bruce. That was his personality. And the production quality of it isn't as great as like Enter the Dragon because that was a co-production between American company and Hong Kong company. But still, for a lot of personal reasons, I kind of like the way of the dragon. Excellent. Okay, how about this one for you, Shannon? Now, what values... Um would you believe that, you know, does, does Bruce instill in some of the younger generations out there? What kind of values do you think uh, still transcend to this day? Um, gosh, I think there's so much value in my father's legacy for um, everyone out in the world and for the younger generations coming up as well. You know, I really uh, value my father's views on self-actualization, about being the best you that you can possibly be, and cultivating yourself and understanding yourself to be the highest form of person that you can be. But overall, I really value and prize his legacy of action. Um, and, and I mean that in the sense of taking action. And not just, you know, doing martial arts and being in action films, but really taking action in his life, whether it was socially, culturally, philosophically. He was a man of action through and through in every way. And, and to me, that's, that's something that I really value. And I think that a lot of people can as well take with them and say, how can I take action today? So. Okay, great. And Linda, if Bruce were standing here today, in front of all these Giants fans, these local Bay Area folks, San Franciscans, everybody, being here at AT&T Park, what do you think he would say to the hundreds of people celebrating his honor tonight? I think he, first of all, um, want to show his appreciation that all of you here recognize and honor his contribution to the world. Really, I think every person here was influenced by him in one way or another. And he has improved your lives just by knowing about him and what he stood for. So I think he would be very appreciative and feel very rewarded that you recognize his contribution to the world. And then he'd say, go Giants! <laughs> yes. I wonder, what would his first pitch be like? You know, if he was the honorary guy here today like he is? What, do you think, what would he throw? Fastball? <laughs> <laughs> throw it a lot better than I'm going to. <laughs> so, you got to promise me no laughing whenever I do. Okay. Yeah, what would he throw? I don't know. Yeah, it, it'd be fast. It'd be fast yeah. indeed. <laughs> All right, now, Shannon, uh, you have actually a very important role today as well. You'll be singing the 
uh, national anthem, right? Oh, we gotta give her a big round of applause later. So we've got the whole family involved in Bruce Lee night. So uh, my final question to you, then I'll have maybe one or two questions in the audience. Uh, you are the CEO of Bruce Lee Enterprises, correct? Tell us about um, you know how it preserves your father's legacy. What does it mean to you? What is Bruce Lee Enterprises all about? My goodness, um, I actually head up a couple different organizations. Bruce Lee Enterprises um, perpetuates my father's legacy by keeping his memory alive, keeping him in front of today's audiences and today's public. But the Bruce Lee Foundation is our nonprofit, and it's a, it's a more educational way of preserving his legacy. We do educational outreach to schools. Um, we have a scholarship program. And um, our big long-term goal is to build the Bruce Lee Action Museum, so um, where we, where that legacy of action that I talked about can really um, be preserved for people who come and visit and get to see some cool, you know, memorabilia. Um, we're looking to put it in the Seattle area, primarily because that's where he's laid to rest. So a lot of people already go there to visit the gravesite, and so we just feel like it's a, a nice synergy to have a home that people can visit as well. So. Um, but, you know, my role in all of this, I'm just so blessed to be able to do it because I, as I said before, I feel like there's so much value in continuing his legacy because there's so much inspiration that he continues to give to the world. Yes, and I think we all agree that his legacy does indeed still continue to this very day. And uh, I want to talk to some of the fans out here. Let's get maybe one or two questions. I've got some, uh, some hands up. Let's have some really good questions here for Linda and Shannon. Okay, how about you? I know that uh, Bruce was a cha-cha uh, champion. Can, can right. you share with us your memories of him as a, a dancer, personally? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good question. Yes, Bruce was the cha-cha champion of Hong Kong in 1958. And when he first came to San Francisco, the first thing he did was to teach dancing. That was his first job. He actually taught dancing on the ship coming over. Um, anyway. I didn't meet him until 1963, and he tried to teach me to cha-cha, but I think I cha-cha about the same way I throw baseball. But anyway, it was really cool because he had all these cha-cha steps that he could do, and he had them all written down on this card that he kept in his wallet. I think there was like 108 different steps. So basically, when we danced, I would go cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha, and he would go around me doing all these fancy steps so we had fun <laughs> great question let's let's do one more question one more good question here uh, let's go in the back let's go in the back come on step forward here go ahead can you tell us something about Bruce Lee that we don't know <laughs> there you go something that we don't know there's a lot about him out there but you know pretty well go ahead no <laughs> Some things I have to keep right here all for me. That's a great answer. There are some secrets that you just cannot share. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause one more time. Linda and Shannon from the Bruce Lee family, ladies and gentlemen, here at AT&T Park. Did you want to say something? And this is my daughter, Bren. Yay! Yeah. You want to say anything to the, to the fans here today? Go How about a go Giants? Go Giants! There you go, that's great. Well, thank you again, Shannon and Linda, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Lee night. What a great night it is honoring the great Bruce Lee. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. There's going to be a lot more celebration here today. We're going to see that first pitch. We're going to see uh, you sing the national anthem, right? So, uh, once again, let's give a big Giants round of applause, everyone. Enjoy the night. Uh, we're going to do raffles right here. And, uh,